Ever since seeing jetpacks in sci-fi movies like The Rocketeer, every little boy has dreamed of a future with jetpacks. Actual jetpacks have been around since the 1960s. The original jetpacks had a hydrogen peroxide powered engine, which would only last for 30 seconds of flight time. The flight time could have been extended to about 60 seconds with more traditional propellants, but hydrogen peroxide's exhaust gases were much cooler and greatly reduced the risk of a fire or explosion. But due to the short flight times, jetpacks have never really taken off, so to speak. Over the decades, many have tried to enhance and perfect this old technology, but never really improving on it. Jump ahead over 50 years and we introduced the JB-11 jetpack by Jetpack Aviation, which was unveiled at the 2018 CES Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Jetpack Aviation has been developing their jetpack for 10 years and the JB-11 is the latest version. The previous model, JB-10, which was a hit on YouTube in 2016, had twin turbo jet engines, one on each side of the jetpack. The JB-11 has six smaller turbo jet engines, three on each side. The JB-11 jetpack is capable of flying faster than 200 miles per hour, can fly for up to 12 minutes depending on the weight of the pilot, and runs on standard household kerosene or car diesel fuel. But more importantly, the JB-11 has now got auto stabilization tech built in, and in the event of engine failure, it can automatically rebalance the thrust to keep a pilot from spiraling into a fall. The future for JB series jetpacks is to increase the flight time to 20 plus minutes. This will be done by using more efficient turbofan engines, which are more efficient than the turbojet engines they use now, and are effectively the same engines used on commercial airlines, but much smaller. These jetpacks are not cheap. The JB-10 model has a price tag of $250,000, and the JB-11 is worth more than $300,000. But Jetpack Aviation are so confident in their jetpacks, they will soon be offering jetpack experiences, where people can come and try a jetpack at their California training center. As I said earlier, jetpacks have been in development for about 60 years, but it would appear we are getting closer to the day that we can fly our own jetpacks. Now I just need to get myself one of those snazzy Rocketeer helmets and I'm set. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. I like it.